Gone King 592, and we're going to bring you a quick little update to some advice that I gave you three, four, five weeks ago. Uh, everybody kept going, How do you get all those upgrades for free? I gave out the advice, and Guns of Glory went out of their way to make sure you can't do it anymore. Congratulations on them. I hope to God none of you are actually starting to play this game. Only us hopeless addicts who are throwing money down a rat hole can't make our mortgage payments. Lost the car already, but thank God COVID's here to make sure we got nowhere to go. And as you can see from the picture on there, somebody sent me a meme. Uh, this is actually one of my R4s, put this together. Uh, took it off one of my, my little uh, short uh, video. They got these new things called shorts on YouTube that are designed to be under 60 seconds. I did my first short uh, and posted it up and Guns of Glory closed the deal with Google the day the short launched making that short irrelevant so you can go see the short it's a minute long but doesn't mean anything so who cares so uh i thought it was a neat picture we've had a bunch of cool stuff there's been people going out sending pictures out there and i want to put more of this out for you guys because i think it's interesting i found it funny okay so i'm gonna go here so what are we talking about for the free stuff and it's the pirates event and i'm gonna show you up in here here's my things uh hate you back we've got a little drama going on 592 we are six months into the 592 project and we are three months from from gog taking the dick out of our ass with this airship uh during the last kvk we watched a player gain sixteen thousand dollars worth of development and what would take 30 days in less than two hours so the cheating by guns of glory against me and the kingdom that i'm in just never ceases to end uh and i'm we're getting and i've got a new hack video coming up guys stay tuned for that i've got we got the most epically raunchest hack you ever seen i can't reproduce it i can't tell you how they did it but you are going to know the second you see it that we know it's a hack freaking castle all right uh there's been a lot of developers going out and spawning castles if you think that's where that rss comes from by a bunch of farming bots the farming bot days are gone the developers have pretty much made it useless to build up farming bots uh, i told you that multiple times over many videos ago that i thought the days of bot farming were gone because you go out there and for $25, some RSS guy will turn around and sell you what is $300 worth of bot farming worth of RSS. And you'll have it in 10 minutes. No matter what kingdom you're in. Instant RSS. Um, from castles you never heard of and bot farms that don't exist. Uh, it's amazing that no one does math anymore, but all swears they're doing the hard work without any way for us to be able to see it or things like we don't know what hard work looks like but there i am hating you back uh a little background there on that drama for six weeks we told everybody january 23rd would be our first kvk we even said so live in a couple of videos and we built this special room called phase nine two bullets room we put all the r5s in there they're not muted but anybody else in the kingdom can join the room normal players get muted because this is not a free-for-all for everybody to give their opinion it's allow your leaders of your alliance to say what needs to be said to discuss what needs to be us and everybody keeps going well gum you said gum you said gum you said or gum you thinks this or he says this I got tired of the lies about what I say and what I don't say. And we built this room so that there's no doubt what I say. The whole kingdom can witness it. And the minute we built this room, not a single R5 spoke. Suddenly it's no longer, you know, what it really comes down to is, as what happens in most of this game, the first guy to get an R get an alliance built, 
winds up filling people underneath it and the love flows up to the R5. And uh, you got to be careful of that if you're playing these things. Is your R5 coming back from an R5 room and telling you what they think they heard? Or what they wish I'd said? Let's put it in context of being pretty impersonal. This is absolutely some failing type thinking to where this type of room shouldn't should exist built into the game that the minute you build an art alliance and you're an r5 bam you're slapped into a communication room the minute you join the kingdom you can monitor that communication room this the, it shouldn't have a 200 player limit imagine this from the start of a kingdom where you have three to five thousand members on day one and nothing but horse shit taking place usually the first person to build an r5 room i'm, I'm sad to say this that's the con artist. They're going to say the nicest things and they're going to tell you, guys, I played in another kingdom and I know everything and I'm just here to help. Don't listen to that gun muse guy. He's only done 300 videos on how to help you. But you listen to me and you send your love to me and I'll make sure everything goes okay. And typically it's one of these RSS sales teams. Uh, there's about three of these companies that compete. They even have this contest where they go in the kingdom and they fight for which one of their alliances they built the new kingdom are going to win the first king's challenge. Right? And then that leads to who answers what RSS sales for a while. That's the prize money. You're, you're literally a contest to them. So lots of stuff going on in the background that you wouldn't believe happens. It's just... Crapple on top of crapple, but back to the pirates event. Okay, so they took out all the growth. None of this stuff is helpful. Why the fucking hell is eighty goddamn glory banners an epic prize equal to freaking the brand new phantom gems? I told you to go in there that the money spent in here was, you know, would lead you up to the event. You know, we called it the 50% events where you went in there and you build up your stats from those challenges. Well, this Pirates event didn't happen before that event. It's happening after. And it's crap prizes. So now you're only playing for this crap, you know, skin, right? You're not playing for anything else. Hey, look what the heck, well, look what happened to their Pirate event. Go back and look at my previous pirate events where we had dozens of people in the tens and twenty thousands in our own kingdom. Everybody come in here and looked at it and went, well, that's shit. I don't want that. Mm, let's see what the all kingdoms are doing. Normally, they're about 300,000, right? Oh, but we're seeing. There's White Tiger. I've had some run-ins with him over the years. Ah, uh, matter of fact, I don't see. I don't know. You get people like this is at your mama's house, you know. There's no way anybody hired someone with that personality to earn them money inside of a company. If you know this person and they work for you, fire their ass because what you don't see happening is probably cost you more money than anything you see them do. It's that bad. Yeah, is what it is. All right. Uh, so I'm taking back my advice. Do not go spend a crap load of money during the Pirate's Chest event. Uh, I know I did, but I did it for a different reason that I, I'm not going to tell everybody right now. Uh, and it'll be the last time I do it, just so you know. Uh, one of the reasons was to go in there and actually, well, one of the reasons was to go in there and say, look, I did it. It's not worth it. I, I, I rolled it out. I spent uh, not 500 like I would tell most people to do. 
I think I spent 350 and it wasn't worth the 350 bucks. Not even close. Uh, I got robbed in the event, outside the event, and from future events. Whereas $500 was equal to six or 7,000 before, my $350 wasn't worth 350 bucks. So don't spend money here. Uh, play the things, go out, kill the damn threat, kill the vampires, blah, 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 until they kill this event because I'm exposing the fact that it is worthless. Uh, if you want to come play in Kingdom 592, be careful. Right now, my little bitty teeny tiny alliance is killing everybody that didn't want to cooperate. If you had an R5 that didn't want to turn around and stop the hateful mess that was going on in the kingdom of one player who decided that he came to this kingdom to make sure I fail. And he hit everybody and anybody he could. He ran everybody off he could. People got tired of having a bubble every night because this one player wouldn't follow the rules. Suddenly everybody loves him, which is not true. But now I'm saying, you know what? I'm going to play by his rules. And since the kingdom didn't speak up against him, the leaders didn't speak out against the method. I'm holding everybody accountable for allowing five months of this method. I'm no longer going to allow the gun alliance to be the prey of one rogue alliance. They weren't winning. They knew they weren't winning. They had to go to this marketing of hearts and minds thing. Well, at the end of the day, people who don't do anything aren't worth anything. And I got a whole bunch of R5s out there saying, well, we supported you. Only when I ask them to do stuff, they never answer. When we say, hey, are you going to be a KVK? Silence. No answer. And then when at the hours before KVK, I said, hey, you guys need to choose. Are you with us or against us? The second biggest alliance in the kingdom attacked my second biggest player in my alliance. That was their answer. We're burning the fucking kingdom down. You don't, you know, and we're, we're just going to pluck one individual at a time again. We'll go back to playing this the old school way. Uh, we'll get back to what I was doing before. But right now, all these guys who spent money and time, guys, there might be some cheap castles for sale this week if you're wanting to come play in 592. Uh, we're probably three months from gay from a, from a fair KVK. Uh, if we ever get a fair KVK. Uh Everybody was zero stars, but the guy that we were up against had six $60,000 castles in all the brand new kingdoms. I don't think he plays that much or cares that much. I do believe it was a hack on pawn, hack upon hack. Look out for my new hack video, guys. It's coming. I appreciate it.